guys, Emily from Create 86 here. Tonight I'm doing a binder organization video for my iTunes U classes. Um, these are at home classes. Um, it's basically like you get your books online, you can print all your class material out in your own time um, and do your classes at your own time. They are free, all of them. Um, so. Here we go. Look, my dog just decided to join us, so I might be hitting her with my binder. Okay, so here is my binder. This is what the inside looks like. And then here is my notebook for my classes. This is only one set of my classes. Um, so I'm doing organizational behavior, international relations, and principles of marketing. However, my classes in here are organized backwards. The front is principles of marketing, and then international relations, and then organizational behavior. Because the papers didn't fit in my little tiny binder, I think it's like a half inch. So I just did whatever fit the best. So I wanted to let you guys see what my notes look like. And this is kind of it, organizational behavior. I do di diagrams. I'm a terrible artist, terrible drawer, but I try. Um, I put stars next to things that I think are important or that I think might be in a review. And I kind of I make lists as well. You'll see more stars where I think are really important. I always underline the chapter that I'm in. I don't necessarily start a new page because I think that's a waste of paper. Um, but I can always follow along and I'm going to reread my notes so I'll definitely see that I'm on a different chapter. Um, any definitions I underline. And that's it for right now. Um, so for my marketing class what I did was I decided that I wanted to, I reference this stuff a lot, so I decided that I wanted to just take the pages out and maybe put them in a different binder at some point, but I just couldn't keep them in my notebook because I was just turning the pages too much. It was too arduous to keep flipping four or five pages to get one thing. So I'll probably end up tabbing them at some point and putting them actually in a binder instead of just sticking them in this folder. So these are from the dollar store, these tabs. They're still really nice even though they're from the dollar store. They are plastic. Um, and then this plastic folder is really helpful. I, so I take all my notes out of my notebook and put them in here. This is just for marketing. Then you turn that and you're on to my international, relation, international relations um, work. I'm organizing this by chapter. So each chapter is going to be a different color. It's kind of like a Hobonichi planner. Um, I found that really, really helped me to be able to focus on what chapter is what without having to tab everything because I tried tabs and that was really, just didn't work. I might go back to it, but I'm not sure. So for now, this is working okay. I used all kinds of paper. As you can see, some decorative dollar store <laughs> flower paper. This is my organizational behaviors tab. Um, this is where all my paperwork that I've printed out so far is. It's um, quizzes and tests and PowerPoint. This is a PowerPoint presentation. And then there were a bunch of articles I have to read and it's an article. Stuff like that. So that's what my notebook looks like right now. I try to keep it as uncluttered as possible so it only has schoolwork in it. Um, and then there's my notebook again. Oh, now the cat is joining us. Shut the That Sheldon, everybody. Say hi, Chabelle. So when I close my binder up, even though I have stuff in the front, I like it so that it lays flat. I can keep my notebook in it and there's no protruding if you hold it like this. There's no protruding or anything. So, guys, this is my, how I study, how I keep my notes organized. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. 
leave me some comments down below and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.